Alright, what's going on everybody? We are back with some more universe mode. Like I said yesterday, we had to skip straight to SmackDown because of the whole update thing and I don't really understand what happened there, but I brought a hardcore division to SmackDown. They're not gonna be debuting tonight. This this is just still planning out the hardcore division and what we're gonna do with that, so for right now, we're going to get to see Jack Swagger versus Cesaro, and Jack Swagger is the new Intercontinental Champion after Payback, where he beat Neville, and I feel like now that Jack Swagger is the champion, there, there's no room for uh, improvement, because the first two months, he has won, I mean, almost every match he's been in, but like two. One of them was against Randy Orton, and one of them was against Neville, but he beat Neville at Payback, so I guess he's kind of kind of one of the best on SmackDown right now, if you think about it. And now if he can beat Cesaro, and Cesaro, I mean, it's Cesaro. There's nothing else to say about that. Oh, this is our backing him up into the corner, says Cesaro, Jack Swagger, locked up in the turnbuckle of the refs, trying to break through, and... A clean break, surprisingly, no cheap shots. And again, they go to a collar elbow type. Cesaro's got him in a headlock. Still has not let the headlock go. Now, there we go. Jack Swagger backing him up into the ropes. And ducks under and gets caught with a drop kick from Cesaro. But Jack Swagger back up to his feet with no problem into it in a collar and elbow tie up. And Jack Swagger has him in a gut rip position and brings him down into a headlock. To break the headlock, he gets a punch to the face. Both men are back up to their feet into another collar and elbow tie. This match has been technical from the start. There's a snap there from Jack Swagger into a headlock. And he's going to bring him back up and just throw him down. And again, Cesaro's right back up to his feet. Has Jack Swagger in a headlock, but Jack Swagger will get out of it into a side rushing hook. Now Cesaro trying to get back up to his feet, Jack Swagger with a punch, but Cesaro just fights through it, grabs him, crosses the arms looking for a power bomb, and he lands that one, that was, he took him high in the air with that power bomb. And look at that, stomping him in the chest, double stomp from the standing position, that's corporate athleticism right there, hits him with one of those vintage uppercuts from Cesaro, we've seen him do that a lot. And Jack Swagger hits him with the elbow reversal from Cesaro, though. Nails him with a chop and a punch into another chop. Now into a German suplex. It's a great combination of moves from Cesaro. And now gets the arm in chicken wing position with a cross face. And looks like Jack Swagger probably needs to get out of this or tap out. But instead, Cesaro lets Swagger go. Swagger with a reversal. And grabs him by the head, hits the elbow to the back of the head, just lands a freaking axe handle, just clubbing blow to Cesaro, now stomping on him while he's down on the mat. And one of the things we saw at Payback during that tag team match where I thought Cesaro and Kid could walk out of there, there, whoa, could walk out of there, the new uh, tag team champions. But, um,. They kind of imploded as a tag team. We saw Ty Ty Tyson Kidd walk out of the matchup, costing Cesaro and Kidd the um, tag team championships. And so we haven't. We, I'm surprised we haven't seen Tyson come out here. I don't know what's happening with that tag team, what they could be doing, but I don't know. Cesaro might want revenge on uh, Tyson Kidd for what happened, but. Right now, he's got to face Jack Swagger, and right now, he's getting beat because that chicken wing stomped on the arm, grabs Cesaro back up, but Cesaro would look like that back slide slam. I don't really know what they call that, but that's pretty awesome looking. Looks like it'd be a torture rack, but slams him down, and now Cesaro with the pin. One, two, and Jack Swagger kicks out of that one. And Swagger back up to his feet, meets Cesaro with a spear to the leg, and dragging him now to the middle of the ring, here's the pin, one, two, and Cesaro somehow kicks out, I wouldn't, I mean he just 
straight up speared him in that knee and don't know how Cesaro's gonna be able to walk after that and now Jack Swagger's got him in the head crank vintage WWE 2K16 with that one great job um, now Jack Swagger going to put him up against those ropes now it looks like he's gonna Irish whip him out of the ring Cesaro hangs on now here's Swagger going out to the ring apron with Cesaro and there's gonna be a DDT to the apron throws Cesaro off the ring and that one could be the uh, match winner Jack Swagger throws Cesaro into the ring and look at this Swagger choking Cesaro and I mean we have not seen this side of Swagger so far here in universe mode and I mean and they get someone that was his former partner in like 2013 the real Americans they never won a tag team championship but they were they were around for at least like a year they never really did much they almost won the tag team championships but not really anything too much and now we see them 2016 and Cesaro launched Jack Swagger in the air with that European uppercut here's the pin there's two and Jack Swagger kicks out of that one and Cesaro cannot believe it I don't know now look at this running at him with a belly belly suplex and he's going to hit a stomp with the stomps. Everybody does the stomps. Cesaro picks Swagger up and they're gonna get our swooped into the ropes. Here comes Jack Swagger and is going to get caught with a Mishinoku driver and Cesaro trying to get back up to his feet. This match has been long. Probably taking a toll on both of them and after he's already got speared in the leg so getting up might be a problem at this point but there's Jack Swagger with a reversal and he's going to hit a snap mare into a headlock and has that headlock in pretty tight Cesaro not able to get out of this one at all Jack Swagger just not fighting up but now we see Cesaro trying to fight back up he's on two feet now and so trying to break the hold of Swagger and he's going to get an Irish whip into the turnbuckle Missed that hit gets another gets an accidental there's another one damn there's another one Jack Swagger just kind of rolls off the ropes onto the ground, but there's a reversal. Cesaro turns Swagger around. There is the side slam. Look at that. Cesaro falls right to his knees. But is able to get to the pin. One, two, and Jack Swagger kicks out. I mean, Jack Swagger has been in so many great matches already. You can probably add this one to the list of Jack Swagger's number one matches so far in universe mode. There's a German suplex catapulting Jack Swagger on the top of his head now Cesaro trying to drag him into the middle of the ring I thought he already was but you never know look at the strength from Cesaro picking him up off the mat into a gut ring slam there's number one might be going for three here there's number two and looks like he's gonna be able to get number three so that's three straight suplexes and that's that's off the mat so very deceivingly strong from Cesaro there's two and Jack Swagger kicks out again and Cesaro again cannot believe that's how Swagger keeps kicking out of these moves but here's Swagger gonna Irish whip him into the turnbuckle Swagger pulling him off shoving him to the mat and here we go looks like he might be setting up for that Swagger bomb and here's Swagger pulling him into the middle of the ring probably going for a pin Here's the count. One, two, three. Swagger wins another one. That's that, that count. I think that's like the tenth win so far for Swagger here. I'm probably over exaggerating, but yeah, he's won uh, close to ten now. It's got to be. So another great match from uh, Jack Swagger. Cesaro probably throwing his hat name into that hat of the Intercontinental Title race. We have yet to find out who is challenging Swagger for the Intercontinental Championship, obviously, because it's just week one after payback. But whoever is going to challenge Jack Swagger, we're going to be in for one hell of a matchup, obviously, from what we've seen so far from Jack Swagger. And uh, now we get ready for the next match, which is a kind of a 
payback from the payback pay-per-view. So yeah, let's get set for that one. As you just saw right there on the screen, it is the debut of Samoa Joe on SmackDown. We saw him make a surprise debut for Universe Mode in the Nexus vs. SmackDown match at Payback. In which we saw Nexus get upset and I don't know if the Nexus is going to be able to come back after that loss. That was a big loss. They had all that momentum going into payback and then just to get straight up dominated by Team SmackDown was probably a big, big letdown for the team of the Nexus and we don't know what they're going to do next. For a month now we've seen them just dominate everybody, take out people with four matches and uh, pretty much just cause terror and destruction in SmackDown. And now that we don't have a tag team division in SmackDown, I don't know what's going to become of the Nexus. Maybe they go over to Raw and try to become the tag team champions, which we could see that. I don't think that would be a bad idea from the Nexus. Go to where uh, it's e easier to get championships because we just have, you know, all singles uh, championships on SmackDown. And... They're a team, obviously, so I don't think all three of them, unless one of them becomes hardcore champion, one of them becomes inter intercontinental champion, and one of them becomes the heavyweight champion. I don't think that's going to happen. The heavyweight division is pretty stacked at the moment with guys like Dean Ambrose, Christian, Randy Orton, and now probably Jack Swagger. Neville, Ryback, I mean, it's it's crazy. Even though Jack Swagger is the Intercontinental Champion, I think he could be in the World Heavyweight Division at the moment from what he's done so far. And now with the new additions like Samoa Joe, look at the combination. Quick strikes from Samoa Joe into the pin one, and Finn Balor kicks out. And look, Samoa Joe just missed the kick there. Here's Finn Balor pulling him over. Looks like he might be sitting up for the German suplex. You saw Samoa Joe's face there. He knew that there was something big coming. And as he rolls out, out of the ring, probably looked like Finn Balor was going for a pin. And uh, Samoa Joe tries to get over there to Finn Balor, but Finn Balor would get out of the way. And there's Samoa Joe with a reversal into a Samoan drop on the outside. Added pain there. Now Joe picking Baylor up to his feet, going to put him into the ring. He just missed a punch there. Gets it another one, and a big boot to the side of the head from Joe. Joe making his way back into the ring. And I mean, besides a few strikes from Finn Baylor, it's been all smaller Joe so far. The match is still kind of in the early stages. There's a Death Valley driver from Joe into a pin. One. Two, and Finn Balor kicks out. I didn't think Finn Balor was going to be able to kick out there. There was a kick from Samoa Joe. And Finn Balor getting picked up by Joe. And there's a, a Irish whip off the ropes comes Finn Balor. Joe ducks under that one. And they kind of just run into each other there. I don't know what happened. And there's Finn Balor trying to get back into this matchup. And there's Joe trying to use the ropes to get up after that big move from Finn Balor. There's a forearm to the face. Joe trying to go for something, but Finn Balor reverses it. And again, Joe just getting punched in the face repeatedly by Finn Balor. There's a Mishinoku driver. And now we see Finn Balor making his impact in this matchup. And there's Samoa Joe, though, with a reversal. And here's Finn Balor. But there's Joe with a reversal to the kick to the back of the leg. And now Joe... I don't know what he was waiting on there, but he gets the reversal. Doesn't really matter. Now here's Joe. There's a German suplex. We saw this at Payback. Here's the combination into that full Nelson suplex back into a cross German suplex. Let's see if he bridges the pin. He doesn't. Still trying to inflict more pain on Finn Baylor. Now here he is picking Baylor up. 
Gonna Irish whip him into the corner. Looks like he might be setting up for that muscle buster. He hits this. It's got to be over. Here we go. One of the most brutal finishers of all time. Muscle buster. So it's Moa Joe probably gonna pick up the win here. Here's the pin. One, two, and Finn Baylor kicks out. Did not see that happening. I thought Samoa Joe had that one in the bag, but there we saw Finn Baylor kicking out of it. Samoa Joe picks Baylor back up to his feet. Now was one of them quick strikes combinations. I mean, that's like six punches to the gut and a couple slaps to the face. Now here's Samoa Joe with the cross arm breaker. And could we see Finn Baylor tap out? Nope, Samoa Joe lets the hold go because he knows Finn Baylor was not going to submit. Now here's Finn Baylor with a brain buster planting Joe on the top of his head. And Joe rolls out of the ring with that one. Finn Baylor comes out to meet him. And Joe catches him with an Irish whip into the barricade. Here's Joe going to pick Finn Baylor up. Snake eyes to the barricade. And this one, they need to hurry up and get back in the ring. I think the ref's count is getting close to 10. Look at Joe, though, with a catapult suplex. Now look at that, shooting the gun. Just arrogant from Samoa Joe. We've always seen that. Samoa Joe, one of the cockiest wrestlers of my generation, obviously. I mean, the dude's, the dude's crazy good. Now here we go. Another suplex combination. There's the German into the full Nelson. And back into a German. Obviously, he can't pin out here. But the ref counts at like 8. Samoa Joe back up to his feet. Here's the ref. I think he's at 9 now. And Finn Baylor still on the outside. Not even moving. And there he's moving now. But it's already over. Samoa Joe wins by count out. Hitting the uh, suplex combination to the outside. And I thought we were going to be able to see that one end in the ring. But it ends up by count out. We saw one hell of a performance from Finn Balor and Samoa Joe in this one. But I wish it would have ended in the ring. But otherwise, it was still a great matchup. So, Samoa Joe's been undefeated now. So far in Universe Mode. He's had two wins, only two matches. We're probably going to see him in plenty more matches to come. Because he has just dominated so far. And now we're going to get set up for our uh, main event. Dean Ambrose going one on one with the former world heavyweight champion in Christian. We haven't seen Christian since he lost the ECW tournament. Which obviously you know what happened to that. That was kind of a letdown. We don't get to see ECW anymore, but we get to see Christian back on SmackDown. So that's lucky for us, I guess. Alright, here we go entrance time here comes the new world heavyweight champion and he upset Randy Orton at payback I did not see Dean Ambrose walking out of that one with that world heavyweight championship but he did and uh, now we're gonna see who who steps up and challenges Dean Ambrose for that world heavyweight championship could Randy Orton get his rematch yeah he could but he's not out here it's Christian, and I don't think Christian deserves a world championship match after just one of the worst performances so far here in Universe Mode. He has lost every match he's been in. Every match. Every single match. And I don't know if he deserves a chance at that World Heavyweight Championship. Maybe if he gets a surprise win over Dean Ambrose, he deserves a uh, championship match. But, you know, we gotta find out. Here comes Christian making his way down to the ring. And uh, Captain Charisma for sure. And what is Dean Ambrose doing? Why the heck is he getting out of the ring? What did the, what did Christian do to Dean Ambrose? Here comes Dean Ambrose charging at Christian. Christian trying to stop him. Nails him with a crossbody into the punches. Dean Ambrose is fired up. But what the hell did Christian do to Dean Ambrose to deserve this? Here we go. Christian with a reversal into a DDT on the ramp, and that's gotta hurt. So what are we gonna see from this? As Christian slams Dean Ambrose's face into the ring ramp, entrance ramp, whatever. 
Dean Ambrose catches him with a clothesline, and is he trying to make a statement to Randy Orton? We saw him get the win, so I don't know what the hell is going on with Dean Ambrose. I guess he's just trying to show his dominance there. Picks Christian back up, going to Irish whip him. Christian stops himself, hits him with a snapmare. And I don't know why he's getting all technical outside of the ring. The match is not even started yet. We're just seeing these two guys battle on the outside. And uh, could this match get caught off? It probably will. I mean, this match has not started. They battled on the outside for a couple minutes now. Here's Dean Ambrose, nails Christian with a clothesline. The rest calling off the match. We don't get to see the match, but we did get to see two great matches and one hell of a brawl. So like, subscribe, and comment what's going to happen next week on SmackDown. But we have Raw to get to first, so like, subscribe, and comment. Go check out FPSG for our Call Universe mode, and I am out.